Alabama Outdoorsman. Today I'm going to go over how I store my soft plastics. I've seen several videos on how other people store them and the different ways to store them. So I'm going to go over um, how I do it. I have it in three different ways. I keep some in Planos, some in bags, and then some in big bins. Um, so the first thing I'm going to go over is the Planos. I have all of them labeled with what's on them. My first one's lizards. I don't usually use lizards too much, so this is a smaller Plano, and it's just got different um, different ones that I use if I use a lizard. It, people say that it uh, it'll warp your plastic, but these have been in here for probably I don't know four years now, and as you can see, the plastic's not warped at all. As long as you keep them out of the sun shouldn't have a problem with it warping and if you keep it out of the heat then I have my creature baits uh, well some of my creature baits and uh, just some V&Ms and some Creek creatures and some baby brush hogs most of these planos were set up before I switched to boxes so I'm just once I run out of stuff in these planos then I'm gonna stop using the planos Then I just have some crawls, some chunks. And then my frog box, I keep some uh, hollow bodies and then some, some zooms, some bass munition frogs, some ribbits, my, and then the rest of it is just uh, hard bodied stuff. And then the next thing, this one is warped because it has been in the sun a lot, is just some curly tails that I have. I need to restock up on. These are Zoom and Culprits. All right, now I'm gonna go over what I keep in the bags. So with the bags, I've went away with the Ziploc bags just because they tend to rip pretty easy, especially if you have something like these in there and they have sharp corners and stuff like that it'll rip the bag easy and then they're harder to seal up stuff like that so this is the uh, I don't even know what bag it is it's a Plano bag and it just holds all my frogs in it I've got some Kitech noisy flappers some rivets and then some rivet top toads in there Pretty much when I need to stock up on uh, on my frog box, I just take some out of here. And that's about it for the bags. I've switched everything to the boxes. Now I'm going to get all my boxes down and go over them. So these are all my boxes. Um, as you can see, I have a ton. And uh, as many of you know, I fish as a co-angler. So there's no way I'd be able to take all of this stuff on the boat with me. So what I have done is usually I'll I have two of these these are the empty flambos and uh, whatever I need for either the tournament or just the day I'm fishing I'll take out of each one of these boxes and just put load two of these down or one of them depending on how much space I have and then uh, that'll just be the soft plastics I have so the top one I have swim baits and these are just some Sterilite um, locking sided the lids just lock on these are my swim baits I got my Kitex on top awesome swim baits and then some bass munition swim baits and some strike zone that I use for trailers a ton of bass munition swim baits and that's about it I have for swim baits Then I have all my crawls. Again, a ton of bass munition stuff. Love their crawls that they have. Uh, several packs of vial crawls, and then some mega bass, different mega bass ones. Some bottle shrimp and some bat and fly.
And then the next thing is my finesse stuff. So I have some egg zone um, slammers in here. I love these for drop shot. I have actually several packs of those, all of those right there. And just a bunch of different other zoom trick worms, some uh, biospawn plasma tails. And then this is the only one that didn't have the lid because I uh, bought all their other ones out and they didn't have one more. But uh, this one's just tubes and lizards. So I have all my tubes and then two packs or three, four packs of lizards and then just a big pro path of lizards. And then in here, I have all my creatures. So I got all my uh, pit bosses up front, all my brush hogs, and then some creep creatures and a pack of the Kai Tech Crazy Flappers. I really like these. They don't smell the best in the world, but uh, if you haven't seen them, those Kai Techs are awesome. And then I just have some Gary Yamamoto stuff and some Bass Mission Breacher Creatures, which are some awesome baits too. I don't know if you can tell it because of the light. And then the final thing is my Senkos and Curly Tails. So in the front I have Senkos. These front two compartments are pretty much Senkos. Or actually the front three. Um, got the... Kitech Salty Core Sticks. These are the 4.5s. So the smaller versions. These things sink awesomely. And they're really durable. And then I just have some Havoc Juice Worms. And just a bunch of different other curly tails. That's pretty much how I store all my soft plastics. Um, I really like these boxes a lot better. They, uh, you can just get stuff out a lot easier than the bags. If you have a tight space, you'd probably the bags would probably be better. But if you have enough space, I'd definitely go with the boxes. And uh, just look for these on sale. These boxes are awesome. I got them on Tackle Warehouse for the 25 Days of Christmas sale. They were like five dollars a piece or something like that. Um, but thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments.